Let's go, man. That's so awesome, bro. Yo, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Julian GM. Today, I am bringing you my second video so far of this face fire challenge. And in today's video, I am going to be putting a short shifter in my MR2. <laughs> Let's go. If you don't know what a short shifter is, let me break it down for you. Okay, so in a manual cart, you gotta, you know, shift. You gotta put it into first gear, second, now third, then fourth, and then push it out to fifth. And then if you have a six speed, you bring it back down to six. But, so this is a five speed, right? So it goes one, it goes one, two, three, four, five, and then reverse. So, you know, my shifter right now is like, it's like this tall. And the new one is like that tall, okay? In addition to it being that tall, I'm also gonna put a drop plate, which essentially is going to uh, lower the shifter E like uh, about, mm, about that much more. So it's already, you know, this tall, and now it's gonna sit a bit lower. So it's gonna be a bit, it's gonna be faster shifts um, all the way across. You know, it's faster, that's it. That's the whole point. Um, and, and it kind of improves your driving experience. You know, we'll, we'll kind of test that at the end because, you know, I, again, this is my first manual car. So honestly, I have no idea on the effects of a short shifter. I just know that they can be beneficial, you know, if you really use them to the fullest of their abilities. Still today, 11.49, me and the, me and the homie riding. We're, we're, we're pulling up, bro. We're rolling deep to a meet. 10 plus cars, baby. Let's go. Anyways, uh, yeah, the meet's going to be a uh, content for tomorrow, not today, because today is Saturday, so it's probably going to be content for Sunday, we're going to be looking at some ricers, baby, some rice gang, okay, and uh, yeah, we're just going to have a good time, just hang out, um, socially distance, be safe by wearing masks and all that good stuff, but uh, yeah, so without further ado, enjoy the video, uh, drop a like, subscribe, comment, see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Julian GM bringing you guys a brand new video. Today's video we're going to be uh, playing with the uh, shift assembly on the Toyota MR2. I have a Toyota 93 MR2 shifter. Shifter, like I said before in another video, is like that much smaller. It's about an inch shorter. Um, it has a uh, has a clip here to uh, keep the shifter um, like not allow as much play in it so your throws are shorter and then it has a drop plate as well um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take out the uh, center console and then uh, and then gotta pull all that up and uh, yeah let's, let's do it all right so first things first I gotta clean up my car had a bunch of stuff in there and we gotta get take out the center console in order to get to the uh, the shifter assembly so there's actually two parts to this console. There's a there's a little part that right up against the back that I had to take out first before I could take out the uh, the full center console. All right, I got a shorter one. It's not much shorter, but hopefully it'll fit. Get the angle we need. This is going to be like impossible to put back in. Dude, I really don't want to take the seat out. I want to just take the seat out. Alrighty, so because uh, the screwdriver didn't fit and I couldn't get out a single screw, I literally had to take out the driver's seat um, because the screw was just, it was in such a weird place that I just couldn't get to it with any sort of screwdriver and uh, because the seat interfered with the, uh, with the screwdriver. So I had to take the, the seat out. So because I already took the seat out, I figured I would vacuum as well, just because there was a bunch of stuff down there. I'm, I'm sure the seat has probably never been out of the car. So uh, yeah, just moving around the car, making sure I can get to all the stuff. Here I'm taking apart the uh, the the actual, the 
the plate that the shifter is under, I, I'm, I'm taking that off so I can take the shifter out and, uh, and start to adjust it. Just be warned, if you guys are going to do this yourself, you should probably get some rags just in case, you know, you get grease everywhere. You don't want to get grease on your clothes. We have the uh, new shifter. Here we have the, I mean, here we have the old one. Here we have the new one. So as you can see, there is a little bit of a drop. Um, I mean, you can't really tell because this is still in its thingamajig. I don't know how to get it out yet. I'm going to figure it out right now. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a good solid drop. Um, and it should be a lot faster. And it won't look as wonky with my new... Um, my new shift knob so that's really cool all right let me try and figure out how to get this out and uh, hopefully i get it out pretty fast because we're losing light quick all right so i finally got the uh, shifter out of its housing and uh, just comparing them again real quick um if you guys want to pause the video to sh look at the lengths um there's a solid like inch off the top and then also because we have a drop plate it's going to drop even further i just wanted to make sure that i got all the grease out as possible like as much as i could just so that I could put in new grease and uh, you know if there was anything wrong with the grease or like it was just really old I wanted to just put new one and I didn't want it to mix just in case you know something happened. So here I, I forgot to put this on camera but I'm just greasing it up making sure it has enough uh, you know wiggle room and all that and, and that it fits well. Um, and now we're getting ready to put it all back together. Um, but yeah this was, this was honestly really easy. Uh, if you have all the parts, it literally could take you probably like two hours if you know what you're doing, if you've watched a couple of videos. So, you know, it's not that long of a thing. You just got to be ready to, to have the right tools and all that. Alrighty, so here we go with the finishing touches. Um... You know, I was running out of light really fast, so I was just trying to get everything done, and uh, I completely forgot I had a studio light uh, in my office, so I grabbed it and uh, used it till it died. So here we are, we're just adjusting, making sure everything's tight, and then reconnecting uh, the cables that go to the transmission and to the engine, making sure we connect them properly, uh, you know, so, so that we don't have a malfunction while we're driving. All right, so hold that though. Let me put you back inside. Uh, before this SD card fills up with data. Um, but yeah, let's freaking do it. All right, so now that uh, I'm done, you know, putting it all back together, I just got to screw everything back in, uh, screw all the bolts back in um, that connect the center console to the car, and then also just got to put the seat back in, and then we're done. All right, so I just turned the car on so I can get light back because the light just died. Oh, God damn. All right. finish it up here. All right, well that's it. All we need is to put back a uh, shift knob. Hold up. There we go. Ryan Turk. What's going on the shift knob? I have that video. Alright, there we go. Is So we had to take off the, uh, the center console, all of it, even this back piece included. Um, then we had to take out the uh, shift assembly, all of it, and uh, swap the swap the, uh, the actual shifter for a shorter one, literally. And then we put a short shift kit on it, so it's even shorter than our 93, because it has a bit more of a drop, probably about that much. So now we'll roll through the gears, no problem. And it sounds really good. So 
big ring in. Maybe I didn't put enough grease, but you know, we'll see. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna take it for a test drive tomorrow morning and uh, see how I did. Pro camera in a three, two, one. Super sick. But uh, yeah, we're gonna take it for a little ride. See how we how we do, how we like it. Um, all right. Don't forget, drink G fuel every day, baby. Woo! -hoo! All right. Now let's go. Also, just just be warned. You know, I kind of said this in the first video that I uploaded with this car. It's really loud in the cabin, but not outside, all right? So let's do this. First gear, and the uh, parking brake's down. Let's go. It almost doesn't feel fucking real, bro. Really. Such a big difference. That makes all the difference, bro. Oops. That feels so, so, so nice, bro. Feels so good. Holy crap. I go, shout out John O. John O is the creator of this nice short shifter. Um, he's a part of the MR2 community and uh, he makes these, uh, the short shifters, uh, the little pieces and the, uh, and the drop plate and all that. And then he sells them through 2RUS. Um, so yeah, dude, huge shout out to John O. Dude, this is actually insane. Uh, you guys, you killed it. Let's go, dude, this car feels so freaking nice. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Ha <laughs> ha, frick yes, bro. Hell yeah. I am all for that, let's go. That feels so nice. Oh my goodness. Holy crap, dude. Let's go. I feel so nice. Woo. Let's go, bro.
baby. Freaking did it. Oh my god, that feels freaking amazing. Alright guys, that's going to wrap up the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I put a little uh, outro clip, so I really don't have to say any of this. Thanks for watching though. Peace. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe down below. Don't forget to comment your favorite part of the video so I know and so that I can help, so you can help me make better content. <laughs> awesome. Uh, again, thank you guys all so much for the support. Hashtag phase Julian in the comments. Please, on Twitter, tag me at Julian, G-E-E-M. Also on Instagram, you can follow me at Julian, G-E-E-M, or, uh, or at Mind of JP, it's my photography account. Shout out Mind of Reggie, cause uh, stole your stole your name, buddy. <laughs> Anyways, uh, have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. Wear your masks. Don't get sick. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.